Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Now the Jeep behind me here is a 2005 Wrangler Sport that happens to have less than 25,000 original miles. Now you may have seen this Jeep on our Facebook and Instagram accounts a little while back when our own Quadratech employee Mike picked it up. Now I wouldn't really call this Jeep a barn find, but it's definitely a rare find for sure. Now there's not too many unmodified, low mileage, garage kept TJs left around these days. Now some may say we should leave this Jeep just like it is, but that's just not in our DNA here at Quadratech. And as expected, Mike has big plans for this Wrangler. Now you may recognize Mike, well, his arms at least, from some of our other videos. Now he helps us out here around the shop whenever we need an extra pair of hands on an install, and he's no stranger to turning a wrench. So Mike will be helping us out with our first big upgrade we've got in store for what we've decided to call Project Pearl J. So what exactly do we have in mind? We could do a lift kit, wheels and tires, that's just too obvious. Bumpers, armor, interior modifications, we thought we'd go straight to a supercharger. That's right, our first big addition here to Project Pearl J is going to be a Sprintex supercharger system. Now this kit comes with absolutely everything you'll need out of the box to get the system installed. Complete with all the new brackets you'll need, new serpentine belt, larger fuel injectors, new map sensor, and of course, at the center of it all, the ultra-efficient twin screw blower. Now, Sprintex advertises a 42% increase in horsepower and a 34% increase in torque. And because the supercharger is a completely self-contained unit, requiring no need for external oil lines, installation isn't much harder than installing a new throttle body and air intake. And with the included Diablo Sport tuner, once it's installed, tuning is as easy as simply plugging into the OBD2 port and hitting a few keys. Now, we'll also be installing a DEI fuel rail and injector cover kit while we're under the hood to help keep the temperature down and reduce the chance of any vapor lock. Now before we get started on the install, we're going to go ahead and head down to our local dyno shop so we can get some baseline numbers on our stock TJ. Now we just got back from the dyno shop. Mike's already getting started on the teardown of our TJ here. We put up about 155 horsepower and 200 foot pound of torque across a couple runs in the dyno. Now we can thank that to the fact that our motor has less than 25,000 miles on it. We're basically working with a brand new Jeep. And those numbers are right in line with what Sprintex says we should have before we install that supercharger. So we should be looking at some pretty good numbers after we're finished. I'm gonna go ahead and lend Mike a hand so we can finish up this teardown and move on to the fun stuff. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna be installing DEI's fuel rail and injector cover kit. Now the kit comes with a brand new heat shield, as well as a fuel rail cover and six injector covers. Now they're made with a glass fiber backed material and they help reduce fuel temperatures so we don't have to worry about any vapor lock or misfiring problems. Now they install easily thanks to the hook and loop fasteners on there by simply wrapping them around the fuel rail and the injectors. Now if you wanna get more information, we have a full detailed review and installation instructions you can check out our video that we did earlier. Now we've gone ahead and taken apart our discharge assembly here. We've got our new map sensor installed and we went ahead and pre-drilled and tapped a port here so that we can add a boost gauge. It's nice to be able to take this apart so we can go ahead and clean it all out, not run the risk of getting any metal shavings into our engine. Now another nice feature with the Sprintex kit is that they've incorporated this vacuum actuated bypass valve here. Now what that does when you're cruising under a low load condition, like when you're heading down the highway, that port will remain open so that you're running under zero boost and that'll allow you to still maintain great fuel economy. Now, as soon as you step on that skinny pedal, that port's gonna go ahead and close up 
and allow you to take full advantage of all the boost created by your supercharger. Now we're going to leave this disassembled while we install it so that we can make sure that we get the port here perfectly lined up where the throttle body used to be on our intake manifold. So at the heart of the Sprintex kit is their twin screw style supercharger. Now what makes it a twin screw design, as you can see are the two screws contained inside of the supercharger. Now as the belt on your motor turns the pulley, you can see those two screws engaging each other. But what they're doing is compressing the air and forcing it out down into the intake manifold. Now because the Sprintex unit is a fully sealed unit, it makes it a really easy install because you're not worried about running any oil lines down to the oil pump or your oil pan and your motor to keep the unit oiled. Now, because it is self-contained, it is gonna require some maintenance about every 30,000 miles. And that's a simple process of removing the supercharger from your motor. You've got a fill plug and a dipstick on the top and you have a drain bolt on the bottom. Now they also recommend that every time you service the supercharger that you also replace your serpentine belt and your spark plugs. That takes care of the installation of our Sprintex supercharger kit. We've got that new tune all loaded up in the computer. So Mike and I are gonna head back over to the dyno so we can get some post installation numbers here for you. And we're gonna to talk to Mike a little bit more about what he has in store here for Project Pearl J. So we're on our way to the diner shop here and we're gonna check out our post numbers with this supercharger. I'm thinking we're gonna be pretty good right out of the gate. Keep our fingers crossed here, but uh, a lot of people might be wondering how Project Pearl J came to get its name. So if you'll remember an old JP Magazine article on the cover, I think a few times they had a teal TJ, they turned into a brute, I think it was. Right. And they called it Project Teal J. Okay. Uh, I kind of wanted the do a little play on words there. This one's white. The pearls are white and yep. they're really clean yep. and done really nice. Yep. And that's what so we kind of have in store here. We have a nice build set up. Yes. Real clean. Not a lot of extra stuff that we don't need. Right, right. It's, it's a lot of form over function here and everything has kind of been really well thought out. So we do have some other things lined up after we get this baseline on the supercharger to hopefully make even a little more power. And uh, we kind of decided to do that out of the gate rather than playing catch up, right? Because we've got lift and some bigger tires planned coming up here. Yeah, we're gonna do a TerraFlex three inch uh, premium lift kit. You know, all the control arms, fully adjustable. Right. Front and rear track bars, yep. sway bar disconnects, everything you need. Right, and then we've got some new fuel wheels and some new fuel tires that we're gonna try out too. Yeah, new here. fuel all-terrain uh, gripper tires, right. I believe they're called. Yeah, so they should be a good tire to see uh, see how they perform both on the road and out on the trail, which which Pearl J is going to see a lot of on road, but it's going to see some trail stuff too. So, yeah. and uh, then we've got some bumpers lined up from JCR. We've got a full bumper and armor package, right? Yeah, yeah. JCR uh, Crusader front and rear bumpers, uh, shield body mounted swing out tire carrier. Okay. Opens all with the tailgate one easy mechanism. Yep. 
and then uh, we're gonna take care of our lighting needs with some truck light and some rigid stuff and uh, I think we've got a couple brand new pieces coming from rigid that I, I'm really excited to put on here and check out yeah they're gonna send uh, the new chase uh, tail light right yep third brake light reverse light and license plate light yeah. and a strobe all in one right yeah so it could function i mean you know if we want to hit out in the desert and do yeah. some high speed stuff at night it'd be really cool but it'll function on our on our you know daily commute and stuff out around town too yep so well i'm really looking forward to to getting on with the build of here project pearl j so let's go ahead and hit this dyno up and uh, see what kind of numbers we put down yeah let's do it Looks like we're making about 30 extra horsepower and 50 extra foot-pound of torque. Now those numbers are pretty good, but I think there's still a little more power to squeeze out of Project Pearl J. So make sure you check back next time where we've got a new throttle body, air intake system, as well as an oil catch can to throw on a Project Pearl J. Now if you want to get more information about all the products we installed today and check out the full build-up, simply click on the info button to head over to Quadratech.com. I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail.